Adam? A uh, seven. A seven. Leonora? Just a five. And your five is? Paves. Thank you. Adam? Uh, panties. <laughs> panties. You keep yeah. bringing up panties. You did it the other day. Wouldn't have to stop fining you. No. Julia? Can't beat it, no. Uh, natives. Natives, yeah, natives. very good. Susie, anything else? Uh, there's um, something that uh, Leonora might know for six spavin, disorder of a horse's hock. Um, spavin? Spavin, yes. Thank you. 69 to 47. Adam on uh, 69. Susie, it's your origins of words again. What have you got for us today? I have an email from Deborah Harris who asks why the herb coriander is called cilantro in uh, North America. And uh, it's actually a really, really simple answer, but it got me thinking about um, some other things around it. But uh, I'll start with that. And of course, there are lots of culinary differences between American and British English. So uh, we have um, eggplant for aubergine. We have ladies' fingers for okra, uh, etc. But cilantro is uh, simply from the Spanish for uh, coriander. So it may have come over from South America, but both of them actually go back to the Latin coliandrum, which also meant the herb. So. Uh, although it doesn't sound like it, cilantro and coriander come from exactly the same root, excuse the pun. Uh, but it got me thinking about um, another thing, herbs in America. They call them herbs rather than herbs. But actually, there's a very good reason for it. I'll just give you a quick uh, snapshot of the history. Because um, from the Middle Ages, the word was actually spelled E-R-B-E, -E, uh, because it came from the French. Uh, E-R-B-E, -E, the same spelling. But sometimes it was spelt with an H as well because it goes back to the Latin herba, which did have the H at the beginning. It's just one example of the chaos of English spelling that I've spoken about lots. Um, but from the 15th century, the H was included in the spelling, but it wasn't pronounced in British English for some 400 years. We also called them herbs. Um, and we also didn't pronounce the written H in our, uh, we still don't, honest, air. So there are lots of uh, precedents for this. It started to come back in Britain purely through snobbery because H dropping was considered to be cockney and lower class. So they thought we better put it back in, which is why herbs are no longer herbs in this country. But they could have been. Well, I'm dashed. <laughs> Very good. Very good. So 69 plays 47, Adam on 69, Leonora, your letters came. A consonant, please. Thank you, Leonora. J. And another. L. And another. D. A vowel. Mm 